Hi guys, so one of the reasons I believe that there's a rise in cases at the moment in the UK is due to the lack of clarity on rules and guidance. Remember, rules are one thing, guidance is another. In the first clip you'll hear from the Prime Minister when he was speaking last week at length about the easing of restrictions even though cases are on the increase. In it he mentioned face coverings, where he says it might be best that they're worn in crowded areas like public transport. The second clip is from the vaccines minister, who suggested that the public are expected to wear masks in crowded areas too. Let's hear what they had to say. From step four, we will remove all legal limits on the numbers meeting indoors and outdoors. We will allow all businesses to reopen, including nightclubs. We will lift the limit on named visitors to care homes and on numbers of people attending concerts, theater and sports events. We will end the one metre plus rule on social distancing and the legal obligation to wear a face covering, although guidance will suggest where you might choose to do so, especially when cases are rising and where you come into contact with people you don't normally meet in enclosed spaces, such as obviously crowded public transport. Where you might wear one. So it's not an obligation, of course, it's a suggestion. Now, this is what the vaccine minister said on Sunday. And the Prime Minister, I think, I, I listened to the press conference. Uh, he spoke very clearly, um, as did Va Patrick Vallance, that the link has been weakened by the vaccination programme, the success of the vaccination programme. I think it's important that we remain cautious and careful and the guidelines that we'll set out tomorrow will demonstrate that, including guidelines that people are, are expected to wear masks in um, indoor enclosed spaces um, uh, and of course to remain vigilant. So it went from you might be, you might wear it to you're expected to wear it. Now expected sounds stronger than might. Is this a change of position uh, in regards to face coverings? Because remember cases are rising. The government understand that. Are they going to change direction? Are they going to say maybe it's better to maintain some of these restrictions? But they can't say we're maintaining the restrictions for political reasons because it'd be extremely damaging to Boris Johnson. This is a very bad approach to dealing with the pandemic. You need clear rules, you need clear guidance. The rules have been taken away, it seems, so we're left with the guidance. But you can't say you're, you might wear a face covering on public transport and then the next week say you're expected to wear one. Because expected sounds like a guidance, a real, uh, a stronger suggestion. But once again, it's just a suggestion. There won't be any punishment for people not wearing a mask. And we've seen scenes um, following the football where there were thousands of people packed into streets, packed into public transport, not wearing masks, because even though the restrictions are going to be ended on the 19th of July, many people have, you know, brought those, that ending of restrictions forward. And many people have decided I'm not going to uh, follow the rules even before that. So it seems that the government have really dropped the ball here. They're talking about easing restrictions on the 19th, but many people have already decided, I'm going to use the restrictions myself today. This is a very dangerous approach, not just because of the guidance, but also the way it's transmitted to the public. There is absolute confusion here. Or maybe I'm confused and someone else knows what the hell is going on. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons you ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?